So it's been a little while. Um, <laughs> we've been hard at work. It is the end of March, so let's call this April. The um, the purpose of this is to sort of you know vocally update everybody on what we've been up to. Uh, you obviously know Alistair Beard on the block. He is uh, our head of community. For those of you that have found your way here and don't understand the context, uh, I'm Ryan. I'm the founder of the company Crucible and the token uh, Ometa, which is um, housed through a DAO called Open Meta. If you're in this Discord, this is an Open Meta Discord. That is run out of Switzerland, uh, an association out of Switzerland, and we are leading up to a token sale in a summer. But the more important piece is why the token exists and why it matters beyond just this sort of speculative thing that we all are a part of. Um, the company Crucible, something started before COVID. I started in 2018 uh, on this concept that I had shaped called the open metaverse and spent several years really into COVID. Um, Getting the funding off the ground with Outlier Ventures, uh, I s actually ended up sort of joining the cohort that um, started two weeks before everything locked down. So I left LA, came to London, and ended up living with Jamie Burke for about three months uh, during lockdown. And that was a pretty formative space of time. I mean, for all of us, we were all locked in our houses, but uh, Jamie and I were there, and I was finishing out the accelerator um outlier ventures accelerator for three months while sort of just spending a lot of time with him and we sort of compared and contrasted our visions his the convergence stack and the convergence thesis uh and mine the open metaverse and you know since since then you've you've seen outlier sort of um become what it is now it was about it was about maybe 12 people at that time. Now it's like over 100 people. Uh, he's achieved, you know, um, the most active and most successful accelerator in the Web3 space and uh, really shifted the the branding of, of all of that from convergence over to the open metaverse um, and, and ran with it and created uh, incredible ripple effects. Uh, a big ecosystem of not only uh, our company, but our partnership with companies like uh, Futureverse, um, you know, earlier than us was, you know, Fetch and Biconomy and Bi and um, Biconomy and uh, Boson. And then since then have been a lot of different cohorts really for the purpose of kind of putting the pieces together for this, for this open metaverse. Uh, Walker World as well is, is in there. Um, so finished, finished that, launched our first product, which was sort of like a MetaMask for gaming, sort of connecting the wallet um into the game engine uh called that emergence finished the accelerator with that uh, and then started the token so did a pre-sale for the Ometa token in 2021 at sort of the peak of the bull market um so that took the shape of about 50 participants you know some very high highly curated group of people around the world from a financial perspective, that sort of shared the vision. So Anamoka, Anamoka Polygon founders, uh, Yield Guild founders, um, Flow and Dapper founders, a lot of the people behind the companies that you know that are also kind of, you know, down this path with us and had sort of intended to build this and, and really launch it pretty soon after in like 22, 23, um, actually had gathered everything to uh to go back out and you know do the do another private sale public sale listing get this thing into the world but um ironically did that the day that russia invaded ukraine and what followed was a pretty brutal bear market and so made a choice as a founder to sort of be a little bit more patient um really direct the team heavily on product uh, led by Alicia, who's our head of product and technology. She comes from the gaming industry, was at Ubisoft early days doing AI things with the early titles of Assassin's Creed, moved on to lead the SDK team for Magic Leap. Um, and she's designed this, you know, really incredible team of 
developers, both for Unreal Engine, Unity, for backend. Um, and we, we shaped up what was that initial wallet connection piece into the Emergence SDK, which we launched and got 50,000 downloads on both Unreal and Unity. Uh, so we are on the Unreal marketplace as sort of best in class for this type of technology. Um, and we are, we've also gone through like a, a very vigorous uh, evaluation period by Unity to become a verified solution for them. So the goal was really, you know, build this technology, um, implant it into the game engines, the Unreal Engine and the Unity Engine. Um, you know, we saw a pretty significant number, you know, between between three and four percent of total active developers on on the Unreal Engine download this and um, start to play around with it. You can see in our Discord we have this uh, developer support channel pretty much going nonstop. And um, even in these early days, there's just so much experimentation happening. Uh, for most of you know, game development takes a long time. The uh, the cycles on this thing from idea to actually shipping a vertical slice or something that could be played, um, especially at a AAA level, take take a while, right? We can reference things like Wild World and Star Atlas, which were around the sort of time that we were, and these games, you know, at their full expression are, are just about to be shipped. And we're close with those teams and we've supported, you know, everybody that's sort of experimenting with these ideas. Um, but our focus was to get this technology in the engines, and now it is. And so what we are focused on now is more on the web um, and filling this gap in the market for a, an actual marketplace that is native to these ideas. So native to 3D, native to gaming, with our own bridges into the engine, optimized for narrative. And that is something that we have uh designed uh doug on our team leads marketing and has has also been a huge part of the sort of shaping of the front end and the design and how we take this message and this product to the world um so we've now designed the front end and um defined the back end and sort of brought these things together in a production roadmap that goes to june and so i'm going to say these dates and sort of allow for some loose pivots to take place if, if they need to. But right now we have planned for a launch of the sort of MVP of this marketplace in June. And you can conceptually kind of think of this thing as um, the overlap between OpenSea and Fab. So kind of uh, really evolving from where NFT left off, right? OpenSea, actually, if you know the founders, they wanted to launch it for gaming first. And then just ended up in digital art because of that bull market. Um, but evolving where OpenSea left off, evolving where even you know Magic Eden and uh, Fractal and and the sort of space of Web three marketplaces has gotten to, um, and taking it closer to where we see you know gaming gaming marketplaces. Fab is the roll up of all Epic Games marketplaces, really driven primarily by Sketchfab their acquisition and then bringing that into the sort of Fortnite world and the Epic Game Store uh, and leading into UEFN, um, which is a user-generated version of, of Fortnite. And so we, our emergence marketplace is going to sort of exist in the space between these. It is an on-chain uh, marketplace. We've built our own indexer. Anything EVM, we can crawl very quickly and populate from what's in your wallet into this marketplace. It is designed to allow creators and brands to set up storefronts and, um, again, do this on chain with metadata, do this native to 3D, not just 2D, and do this with game development and narrative in mind. So it's something we see is really missing. We've gone through months of validation on this uh, while we've been being patient for the market. And I know uh, all of you have as well. Thank you for that. We have been hard at work with this team, kind of putting together the plans, the roadmap, doing the validation, going through this sort of startup period of putting a product into the market. And I think um, I can speak for our whole team that we're pretty excited about this. I think this is the right thing for us to do. And it is also what produces the utility for the Ometa token. Um, 
So when you have Ometa token in your wallet, you are a member of, of Open Meta. Um, and it's really just that simple. Once you become a member, you are a part of something. You're a part of this thing that I started and built this team around. And now this team has turned into something very real. Um, it is a, a network effect of people who share values. It is a shared vision for how the tools of all this crazy technology can be used, really primarily on the cornerstone of you know, personal sovereignty, ownership of property, interoperability, which I see as just more collaboration, these kind of um, much more positive, higher frequency things for us to be thinking about using this technology for. Um, that's what Open Meta is. It's a, it's a group of people that agree with that, that share that sort of intention um, and want to develop it more in that direction, want to benefit, build a foundation for themselves around that, want to have fun with the new capabilities of the power of AI and game development used on chain with um, you know IP like Ready Player One, which we have through our partnership with Futureverse, IP like Black Mirror, which we have with our partnership with Pixel Link, um, Neil Stevenson's blockchain Lamina One, and the minds that are around that. You know, it's been a curation of people just as much as technology. And Open Meta uh, is your on ramp to to be a part of that. Um, my grand vision for this is really like. Open Meta sits alongside Ivy League universities, right? In the sense that you want to do this with your life. Um, your tuition is like go to the exchange, buy some tokens, and you're in. You don't have to get into an insane amount of debt to be around the people, the best people in the world doing this um, from whatever angle you want to participate in. We have a bounty program where you can earn, um, and the utility through the marketplace will give you extra benefits and early access and we're just going to make the members area like the place to sort of uh give as much value as as we can to this group of people um we all know speculation drives most of this stuff especially in, in bull markets which is coming so we won't deny that that's a part of it of course but our team is focused on beyond the speculation beyond the like we're all going to get rich kind of energy um why the technology matters what it can be used for and not only participating but also being a part of owning and driving this you know together governance is a part of DAOs and will be a kind of uh important place if you want to stake your way into the the quorum and you want to participate in governance you know, you want to direct where the treasury goes and fund certain things. You want to put teams together, put proposals through. Um, I won't pretend to think that all token holders will care about uh, governance. I think we've seen that that's not true. Um, the contents of the proposals have to be good enough for people to care to show up. And that's all really uh, very reliant on all of you who participate. and what we choose to do with this together. Uh, it's our job to kind of, I think, build the, um, the building blocks, you know, the foundation, the, the, the principles, the first principles of this um, in a way that can be used by a group of people for, you know, what I'm talking about. But ultimately, all of us are going to decide together, you know, and... Um, making sure to think about the game theory, obviously like rich people can't buy more influence, you know, because you hold more tokens and give you a greater standing uh, to make decisions. These things can be gamed and broken very easily. So we've thought through the layers and layers of this and uh, our roadmap will lead us to launching this marketplace in June. And then what I'm hoping is that we do this token sale in July. It is very possible that that goes to August. Um, because we want the marketplace traction and the things that the utility offers to matter in the market. Um, so I am in touch with uh, exchanges, launchpad, market makers every day. We're going through diligence with some of the biggest ones. Um, 
some of the ones that would sell this thing out, uh, you know, immediately in the summer of, of a bull market. Um, so all the pieces are being put in place. You know, if you know me, you know, I don't rush through things. Um, I think through them critically. There's an intention behind it. So even when I'm silent or our team is working behind the scenes, like we're always constantly thinking about this. I understand the energy of it's been too long. It's been years. What's going on? Because we look around at, you know, so many kind of bad actors and poor founders, but that is not what's going on here. This is, this is being done because we get one shot at it to take it to market the right way in the right timing. I think the patience has led us to the perfect market timing. You know, we've passed an all time high at the end of April, we have a halving and then we have a bull market and that's pretty much something you can set your clock to. So we will be, you know, a quarter of the way into the bull market by the time this tokens out and circulating. And I'm also thinking about a post listing strategy, what exchanges we list on and Alistair is focused on how to grow this community. So, you know, we've been through ups and downs, crazy bull markets, crazy bear markets. We have a solid foundation of about, you know, 50 participants and 45 million tokens sitting there. Um, you know, waiting to participate in this as well. And we will move into what is now the offering stage, right? So to answer your questions that you've you've sent me, you know, the the TGE, the token generation event is, has, has happened in the sense that those tokens from the pre-sale uh, have been produced and sitting in wallets. The actual token sale or the listing for the exchange listing, the liquidity, that has not happened. That is happening in the summer. And I'm putting together sort of the world class, best in class people uh, around us. The launch pad we do it with, the partner, the exchanges we list on, the market makers we work with, we will work with the best. Um, because we get one shot and I want to make this as, as good as I can make it. And um, once it's out there, it's all of ours. If you choose to participate, it's yours as well. You can help drive the direction of it. You can add technology and companies to the ecosystem, you know, that we have. Um, Crucible is raising a round, which is led by Futureverse now. Um, I am filling out the rest of that round on the equity side for more runway. Then we will move directly into the sort of pre-sale, public sale combination. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but there will be a point at which we announce the whitelisting for the launch pad that we do this with and there will be you'll get so tired of hearing about it at that point so the fact that you have questions means we're still in the development and the planning of it by the time we really go out with this thing there will be no confusion um and it will be available to every single one of you that i can compliantly and legally offer it to um there are a number of laws in place and also you know just some general risk mitigation that I have to be always thinking about with this. For example, the SEC has not shown itself to be very friendly, so we'll avoid the US. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to go through and answer all the questions I can while sort of cohesively giving you an update. Uh, and to sum that up, we are now in production for a launch of a marketplace in June. That marketplace will be available to everybody and launch with some sort of key partners and IP. Then we'll go right into the sort of token sale that generates the listing. Um, and the rest of this year will be the post listing kind of circulating supply stage of all of this, where we all get to shape it up together. We all get to further define and define and add to the utility, um, which is really what matters most. Um, and hopefully, if we're successful with the demand on the supply, then then the value will go up, right? That's how it works. But we're not we're not playing any games or manipulating the markets. We're not building this for speculators. Um, so again, as I've said in the past, if that's all you care about, you know, participate if you want to. But we're not going to make decisions uh, purposely for for that alone. Um, I think 
we do we have some designs in the marketplace i'm not ready to show them yet I, I want things to be a little further so i just decided to do this verbally um but alistair has put together a bounty program and defined this kind of like funnel where we're going to start like kind of cranking the volume back up on things announcing more things publicly uh bounties are available to all of you for those who want to participate um so maybe he can talk about that a little bit with the next kind of two two and a half months look like leading into that. Yeah. Um, hold on. I'm muted. Hello. Yes. Sorry, I was on mute. I had my microphone muted as well as uh, as well as Discord. So apologies. <coughs> um, if I cough a little bit, please forgive me. I am coming out the other side of a pretty horrible two week cold. Um, but yeah, on the on the bounty side of things, there's there's going to be bounties for everyone, um, whether that's something as simple as um, like and retweet a Twitter post so you can get involved that way to something far more complex, showing us a fully built in production game um, using the emergence SDK um, and everything in between. So there will be um, opportunities for everyone to participate. We will have our own bounties page, which will be um, very much geared towards um, our direct bounties and what can really help push forward um, open meta um, as a collective, um, particularly building up to our our public sale. Um, we were also we're also looking at a, a number of other um, options as well um, to run in parallel with this, so that we can get as much reach and as much as as many eyes and as many people into our community as possible, and really um, really hit that growth vector that we're we're aiming for. Um, but yeah, as um, as Ryan says, we we have a bounties program that is um, set up. Um, we're we're pretty much ready to go with that. So that will be launching very soon. Again, it's going to be one of those things you will definitely definitely hear about it. Um, we'll have plenty of um, opportunities for participation. Um, something that we're very keen on and that we will certainly be pushing for. And it's great that um, everyone here in the audience. I, I see a lot of uh, familiar handles here. Um, it's particularly kind of focused around user generated content and really decentralizing information about how um, the emergence SDK works, how the marketplace is going to work, your experiences in building using um, using emergence and um, tutorials and documentation and that side of things. So if you've um, if you've been building with with emergence, like we want to hear your story, we want to. Um, hear all about it and, and really promote that as well um, through our channels or others. Um, <coughs> we have um, this is a slightly different from from bounties, um, but um, as Ryan mentioned, you know our team has been growing. We've made a couple of key hires um, recently. We do still have a couple of hires to to make. Um, so if you know anyone that is a really strong unity developer particularly around the tooling side of things then we would love to speak with them um, and similarly if you know anyone that's on the sort of cloud devops engineer side of things particularly with aws um, i would love to speak with them as well um, because those are two open vacancies that we have um, so yeah please do do put us in touch um, but yeah besides that we've We've got a full content strategy. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more of these um, moving forwards. Really, just kind of reamplify what we're doing and and share um, all of our developments and roadmaps with you as they as they come. Um, so very soon we will be doing a um, a presentation around our product updates as well as our marketing roadmap, um, which Doug will be leading. Hi, Doug, out there in the in the audience. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a really exciting time. Everything's really coming together now. And we're in a position where we can talk about things that it's not in a speculative way. It's, you know, we're talking in absolutes, like this is happening. Um, and yeah, I'm just super, super excited for it. The, the next sort of 10, 12 weeks are gonna be busy, but in a really, really good way. And I'm excited for you to all join us on that journey. Yeah, we're a group of people that's very committed to this. Um, also want to reiterate the dates I've given are our roadmap, and it is what we are working towards. If there are any adjustments, um, it is only because it is for the best interest of the launch of the product. Uh, but 
we are committed to doing this. Summer is the goal. Um, and as this sort of evolves, we'll also update things more visually. You know, we'll, we'll show you the design, the design of things. Uh, we'll have kind of updates on documents and papers and stuff we'll share out. And, um, you know, like I said, I'll just leave you with this. You will eventually get tired of hearing of this. So if you have any question marks on what is going on, did it already happen? Uh, it's because we're just, we're just hard at work, heads down, hard at work, um, doing it for the accountability of what we've put out into the world and promised so far and for, you know, the potential and the opportunity uh, for you all to participate as well. So I will end on that. Um, that's the update. It was just a quick verbal one. Uh, keep an eye up on the channels and on Alistair specifically. And um, also just spread the word. You know, we're we're in a growth stage. We want more people. We want the right people. Um, I am speaking with, like I said, some of the sort of the best and the greats of uh, launchpads, exchanges, investors, um, market makers. But if any of you know any, have good relationships, feel that they resonate, um, I, my door is open for those introductions as well. We're going we're gonna to curate all the best people for this and we're going to sort of execute it um, the best way that we can. So, thank you for your time today, this evening, this morning, wherever you are. Um, we have recorded this, so we'll distribute it out. Uh, I guess we can we can open the stage if there are any questions. You know, there's about 15 of you, so raise your hand if you do have any questions. Otherwise, you know, I think a half hour is a good place to cut this. Feel free to request to speak. There we go. We we have a raised hand. Cipher. Um... I am trying to get you on stage. Bear with me. Here we go. Invite to speak. Hello, everybody. Yo. Hey, Cypher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, I'm in the United States, and I heard you guys said that, you know, you're not going to touch the United States because of the problems with the FCC and the unclarity about uh token uh pre-sales so what kind of uh, perks do you have for people in the united states as an alternative uh since you guys aren't going to be actively uh participating here in the united states with the token pre-sale and um also how can a person such as myself uh purchase tokens um during the pre-sale or before the pre-sale or anywhere in between, is there a way? Because I've participated in some of the bounties and they said that there would be an alternative for uh, the users in the United States, but it kind of discouraged me because I really want to uh, actively participate directly with the uh, project. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I, uh, we're going to, we're going to think more about this. There's just, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of risk associated boundaries that we just need to sort of fit in. You know, we're, we're doing this at a level where, um, you know, we're, we're going to be, we're going to be loud with things and we're going to be intentional with things. So we're not a project that's just going to try to, you know, slip under the radar. Um, and when it comes to the U S and the SEC, it's just a tar, it's just a target and it's just a risk and it doesn't seem to be one that is um, going away. They're they're going in the direction of being less friendly with this stuff. So, what I can, as the founder of the project, I have to sort of disclaim that from us, it's not going to be possible. But as as an individual, you know, with the internet, there's going to be going to be other options for you, you know, in in different exchanges that you can explore. Uh, we can't be a part of you know arranging any of that for you. Um, but you know, once the token's out there. Uh, in the wild there, you know, there will be opportunities. Other than that, we have to sort of think about uh, what you said benefits, what kind of, what kind of on ramps of participation and what kind of, you know, value can we offer to the people uh, who are U S citizens or citizens of other countries that are blocked out from this. Um, 
We don't have an answer for you right now. Uh, when it comes to the bounties, there's going to be a number of other things that aren't tokens uh, that we're going to sort of package together, and, and um, we will put some thought to it. And uh, I'll make sure that you know we can we can offer something. I don't want to just tell U.S. citizens, of which I am one. Uh, you know, tough luck. You can't really do anything here. I want to I want to make it so that you know if you have a desire to participate overall in this DAO that there's a way to do it. Um, also, you know, want to let you uh, participate in assets. Uh, you know, we will have, we will have uh, collections of NFTs and collections of avatars and uh, different games that we wire up for interoperability, of which, you know, some of that will be available. It's just for the token we're producing uh, and minting and, and issuing into the world, like we just have to follow regulations, that's all been awesome thank you so much everyone for for tuning in and there's uh there's some exciting times ahead cool all right anything that was left unanswered uh bring it to alistair or myself through the channels that are open 24 7 for you um and we will <clears throat> provide more um i'm aware that i didn't really show you anything uh we'll have we'll have alicia come on and kind of show you what the marketplace looks like when it's a little further along. Really happy with the designs. I think you will be too. Um, and then there will be, you know, more opportunities to participate in the launch itself as well. Uh, on the token, any questions that were unanswered, uh, they will be, those blanks will be filled in, you know, over the next couple of months. Um, and if I'm missing anything, you know, please come to me, let me know. I want to make sure everyone's happy. Brilliant. Thank you all so much. And We'll see you soon for the next edition.